Justice Anthony Scalia has passed away in his sleep during a hunting trip in Texas. Now, Justice Scalia was 79 years old at the time of his passing, and he was nominated under the Reagan administration. Now, obviously, I disagree with a lot of the uh, political stances of Justice Scalia, and I think a lot of the votes that he did cast hurt a lot of American lives. But at the end of the day, we are all Americans, and I think that we all want our country to uh, succeed and lead in the world, but we fight over how do we get there. And no matter where you are on the political spectrum, you, um, you know, you, it's, it's always hard to lose a family member. And my condolences goes out to his uh, friends and family. Now, the, the issue that has uh, arose almost immediately, and this is something that is unique to the political field, because in any other occupation, um, people usually wait a week or so before they're thinking about replacing you after you die. But that's not how it is in politics. As soon as you take your last breath, they're already, already thinking of who is going to replace you and, um, and, and whatever. And the Republicans, uh, and more notably uh, Mitch uh, McConnell from Kentucky, has basically said that we want to wait until President Obama is out of office before we uh, nominate another Supreme Court um, uh, judge. And Harry Reid said that it should happen um, right away because there's a lot of pressing issues that need to be, um, uh, you know, deli or deliberated on by the Supreme Court. And that's not going to happen if you only have eight Supreme Court justices. And the reason uh, this is happening is because um, with the passing of Scalia, uh, it's pretty much open to the Supreme Court's, uh, uh, whether it's liberal or conservative, and, and, and it were actually before he uh, passed away, it was a, a conservative controlled Supreme Court. And now they pass away, it opens the door to going towards a liberal Supreme Court with a lot of uh, legislation being passed now that otherwise wouldn't because of, um, you know, it, the, they, the, the votes on the Supreme Court would favor the other way. Now, I think that you should um, get a Supreme Court justice in there um, as soon as possible because you know, the American people have a right to have their government work and function. And to wait a year would be unprecedented. I think that that's crazy. And I think that the Republicans, you know, need to stop playing, uh, you know, partisan politics and allow the president, which the American people elected, to perform his duties. You know, I when, when, uh, when the Republicans want to nominate someone under their administrations, it pretty much goes through. Under the Democrat uh, administrations, I think that it's fair that, you know, the Democrats should be allowed to uh, pick the Supreme Court um, uh, nomination. So, or the president should be allowed to pick the Supreme Court nomination and it should be allowed to go to the Senate to be passed. And I know, and it just shows how ineffective our government is. And this is why people are sick and fed up with the way our government um, uh, functions. It's just non-stop, mainly from the Republican Party, um, wanting to be ideologues where there's no negotiation, there's no mediation, it's either their way or the highway, and that's not how the, the political game uh, uh, works. So you have to reach across the aisle and mediate, um, and you get some of the stuff you want, and the other side gets some of the stuff they want, and, you know, generally speaking, you know, usually the American people, or the way it's supposed to work, benefit from... Uh, not having too much power in one of the parties, but it seems like the Republicans um, are that party that has too much power. So that's all I have to say. Um, thanks for watching. Rest in peace uh, and my condolences to Scalia's family. And that's all I have to say.